boss today at work, so I'm getting up early. I'm going in, and um, I need a coffee. I got that Gucci belt on. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. <laughs> Say hi to the camera, Jordan. Hello. Hey, hey, Jordan. Hey. Hey, what's up? All right, so every um, every vlog, we're gonna do a what's called because of him moment. Hence the vlog name because or hence the YouTube channel name because of him So today's topic what I'm gonna talk about is I'm gonna talk about lukewarm Christians and real ones Lukewarm Christians and real Christians So let me give you some examples <clears throat> a lukewarm Christian Prays only on Sunday when they go to church and then they'll go their whole week without saying another prayer. A real one, a real Christian, prays at every moment and in every circumstance. So, before I bought my house, I said a prayer. Any kind of worry, if there's any kind of worry at all, of any kind, I say a prayer about that worry at all times. That means I don't say prayers based upon where I'm at, but I say prayers based upon what I think. What thought goes through my mind. Oh, you're going to lose your job. You know, that's a negative thought. I'll say a prayer real quick. There, there's no such thing as worry. I worry about nothing. And I pray about everyone, everything. And that's how you can tell the difference between a real one and a lukewarm one. That's just one example. Another example. Um, lukewarm Christians, they, they'll have sex out of, outside of marriage like it ain't nothing. And this is, you know, I I'm, I was guilty of this, you know. I've repented. I'm now married and been married for almost two years. But, you know, a lukewarm Christian, they'll go to church like it ain't no thing. But then they'll go off into the world and they'll go and have sex with whoever or whatever, you know, and not wife them or husband them, you know, put a ring on it. Like God wants us to, you know, he created man for woman, not man for women. But, you know, one man, one woman together. You know, that's what he created marriage for. So, that's another way, you know, lukewarm, they just do whatever. They're different, you know. Uh, Sunday Christians, I guess you could call them. But, um, another example would be, okay, you could tell the difference between a lukewarm person, lukewarm Christian, and a real Christian, because... You know, if I walk into a, as a real as a real Christian, I'll give you the real Christian this time first. As a real Christian, if I walk into a movie theater, and I'm sitting there and I'm chilling, and it's a good movie, you know. But then they start blaspheming the Lord. But then they start, um, you know, using God's name in vain, saying O M G, you know, oh my, you know, like that, and you know, cursing His name. Um, I'll get up and I'll walk out. A real Christian will get up and walk out or they'll you know they won't watch it again for instance you know there's a show called Peaky Blinders man and it's like they got they be having sex scenes all the time it's like a porno I mean and that's as a Christian I don't want to see that and for one that these people are just the whole agenda they're pushing is you know you don't have to be married and um, if they you know if you're using my Lord's name in vain 
it's another thing. But a lukewarm Christian will just treat it like it's whatever. If you want to know the difference between a lukewarm Christian and a real Christian, look at what they watch. What are you watching on TV? Look at what you, um, who, you, who are you subscribed to? Who do you follow on YouTube? What do you post on MySpace? What is your life about? The Bible tells us to judge a tree by its fruit. A bad tree can't produce good fruit and a, a good tree can't produce bad fruit. So look at the fruit. If you look at a, a real Christian's YouTube, they're gonna be subscribed to multiple Christian channels. If you look at what they've watched on TV, they're gonna be watching multiple Christian things. Look at uh, their libraries, what are they reading? You know, nowadays people don't even have a library. People don't read, well I read. And uh, you look at my library, I got a bunch of stuff on theology. I got a bunch of, I got like 13 Bibles. I have a study Bible. I have a life application Bible. You know, in all different, I got King James, I got NLT, you know, because I, I look and I judge for myself. I don't let no man tell me how to judge. But anyways, that you know, a, a lukewarm Christian's library would probably be filled with a whole Disney books and this and that and the other. That's how you can tell the difference. Um, but basically, the main thing is you can look at a real Christian's life and tell that they are saved tell that God is living in them not because of the nice things they have you know you got to know the difference between blessings and material possession but look at what do they do are they quick to help people do they smile do they forgive easy these are all fruits of the spirit love joy peace patience kindness goodness gentleness uh, self-control you know these are all fruits of the spirit as soon as you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead then you will be saved and the bible tells us as soon as we really truly believe we are sealed with the promised spirit and that is the spirit of god my body's a temple and inside of my temple inside of this church my body is a church is the true and living god he now dwells inside of his believers straight up so i got a god living inside of me and he directs my steps each step not just big decisions like i said a lot of people just pray when they have small decisions but when it comes to the big decisions they don't pray i think that's today's because of him because of him i am shedding light on lukewarm christians if you are a lukewarm christian please repent and by repent i mean change of mind change your mind give every second to the lord give the first part of your day to the lord so have a long time go outside away from everybody it's, the bible said that jesus would often slip away slip away and go pray slip away and have one-on-one -on -one time with God and see how it changes your life you know lukewarm Christians aren't real Christians you're not saved if you are a lukewarm Christian if you go to church you're not saved because you go to church on Sunday say a prayer say you believe and then go out on Monday and live your life any, any way you want to live and I'm not out here trying to judge nobody but I'm trying to save people who think they're saved because if you are still stuck in the same chains, if you are still a slave to sin, if you are not overcoming sin, then you're not saved. I'm sorry. You know, that's just what the Bible tells us that. You look at the fruit. We are not saved by works. We are saved by grace alone. But works prove that we are filled with the Spirit. Works prove that we are saved. They are proof because just like when you're possessed with a demon, you can't help but act like a demon. It's the same when you're possessed with the Holy Spirit of the Most High God. You can't help but have the, you know, the attributes of the Most High God. You can't help but act like the Most High God. No blasphemy, but I mean, but I mean like holy, godly, acting holy and godly. You can't help it. So it's because of him that I'm bringing this forward and I challenge anybody who considers themselves to be a Christian, anybody who's watching this, I challenge you to dedicate more time to God and don't be lukewarm. Don't just go to church on Sunday, but rather pray in everything. Pray at all times is what the Bible tells us. I challenge you, I challenge you to change what you're watching, change what you're listening to. If it's not godly, then, then it doesn't need to be, you know, God, Elohim, which is what you would say, that's how you would say God in Hebrew. Elohim, he cannot tolerate sin, 
okay now I'm not saying that you know we all sin and nobody's perfect but if you are just continuing in sin and continuing in sin and not overcoming it and you are just then you're not saved because God won't allow that God will break your chains he will free you meaning free you from sin and slavery you are a slave to your sins so all my lukewarm Christians out there um, be real and to all my real Christians out there God bless you brothers and sisters thank you for watching no matter who you are I'm not trying to judge nobody I love you all peace